it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a birthday card using this new hot dog stamp set by Avery L. So I have stamped out all the images I'll be using on some Nina Solar White cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my poodle, which has got to be my favorite image in this stamp set. I just think she is so sweet. So I'm coloring her in some cool grays. I'm using C0, C1, and C3. So for her body, I'm starting with the C3 and laying in those shadows and then blending forward with the C1 and then using a little bit of that C0 for the highlight. I'll go back in with the C3 and just add a little bit more depth to those shadows and then I'm going to move on to her hair. So for the fur, I'm using C1 as the darkest, and then blending out with a little bit of the C0 and letting that soften into the white areas. I accidentally grabbed the C3 when I was doing the area on top of her head, but that's okay. Um, it's under her hat, so it doesn't matter if it has a little bit of extra shadow there. Then I'm moving on to my spotted dog in the center, and for him I'm going to be using E50, E51, E55, and E57. I know I have the E53 cap laid out there, but I actually ended up not using that. So I'm laying in my shadows on his fur with the E51, and then pulling that out with the E50 and letting that fade into the white. And then for his spots, I'm going to start with the E57, just add a nice rich brown there. And then I'm going to blend those out with the E55. And like I said, I just ended up not needing that E53 at all. I used a little flick of the E50 on his belly, and then I'm moving on to my Doxy over on the right. And for him, I'm using E31, E33, E35, and E37. So I wanted him to be a little bit darker on his back and then get softer on his belly. So I'm putting the shadows with the E37 along the back sides of his legs, across the top of his back, right under the gifts, a little bit on his tail, and then on his face under the hat and a little bit down by his neck there. I'm going to blend that out with the E35, just pulling the edge of the E37 out a bit and then bringing in the E33. I'll carry that color down towards his belly, fill in most of his legs and all of his tail. So you can see I'm just leaving a little bit of area for that E31 on his belly and on the top of his face where the light would be hitting it the most there. Then I'm going to go back in with that E33 just a little bit. I wasn't super happy with the transition there to his belly, so I just went back over that and then added a little more E31 as well. And I did that on his face. And then I decided that it just really needed an extra layer of everything to just beef up the contrast. You guys know how much I like the contrast in my coloring, and it just wasn't there. Everything was just blending a little bit too uh, smoothly. And even though I don't want a streaky finish, I still want there to be depth, you know, in those shadowed areas and then the highlights in the lighter areas. So sometimes a second coat is just what it needs to get you there. Then for his ears, I'm going to use E25, E27, and E29, putting the shadow on the right hand side and then blending toward the left with that E27 and finishing with the E25. And I did go back in with a little bit more of that E27 as well. I'll grab the RV11 to add some rosy cheeks to each of the pups. It's not gonna show up real well on the Doxy, 
So I'm going to also add in the RV13 and RV14 for some more coloring. And while I was at it, I added a little of that RV13 on the Doxy's cheek just to deepen that up a bit. Then I'm going to color the ribbon on the Poodle's gift box with these three shades. Um, I thought I had the RV14 to start, but it turned out I had the RV13 still in my hand. So I just am going back with that RV14 to add some more shadows. And then I'll go back and blend that out in the reverse. And um, just adding a little bit of that RV13 and then blending out with the RV11. And as I go through the rest of these combos, I will be coloring additional images off screen just to save time. The coloring portion of this video is quite long because I'm creating a scene card that has a lot of images in it. So hopefully if you're someone who enjoys the coloring, this video is going to be perfect for you. I happen to love creating scene cards. So um, every once in a while, I just gotta throw one in there. So I'm moving on to Y32, YR21, and YR23 for my cake. And I also colored in the flame on the candle with that. And then I'm going on to Y11, Y13, and Y15. I accidentally grabbed the Y17, but I didn't need that one, so I just took that out of there. And I'm going to color in one of the stripes on the Poodle's party hat. And then I'll also be coloring in the ribbon on the pink gift on the Doxy's back. And I also added in a little Y15 on the flame just to brighten that up a bit so it stood out from the cake. The next combo I'm using is B21, B23, and B26. And I'm going to color in that dog balloon. I thought it would be fun to do it in a bright color since it is a balloon. So I'm doing the ears and the spot on its face right around its eye with that B26. And then for the rest of the face, I'm going to skip to the B23. So just to differentiate it a little bit, the face will be one shade lighter. And then I'm also going to add in the B00 to finish off the face and just help it look a little bit more translucent. I'm moving on to BG45 and BG49, and I'm going to color in one of the stripes on the Doxy's party hat and one of the bows on the gifts. It's the one in the back of that pile there of three. And by the way, I am pulling all of the colors that I'm using on today's card directly from the pattern paper that I will be using. Also, as I'm coloring the confetti, I just thought I would let you know that there are actually four of those images in the stamp set, and I just stamped them all twice. So for the gift box that the poodle is sitting in, I'm using BG10 and BG11. At first I thought it, I wanted it to just be a white box, so I was just really sparing with my shadows, but I decided I wanted it to be a little bit darker, so I just went back over that and colored it a little bit deeper. And then I went back and did a second coat with that BG11 to just make it you know, look more aqua. And I also put in a shadow on the inside of the box around the poodle's body. For the reds, I'm using my favorite red combo, which is R29, R39, and R59. I'm doing the center layer of the cake, so that could be like a raspberry sauce or strawberry sauce in there. Um, and then I'm going to do the gift box in the back of the pile. I also decided to do the bottom stripe on the Poodle's party hat with those colors. I thought that that would really stand out well against those cool grays. And then my last combo is G14, G16, and G19. So I'm going to finish up the last gift bow. And then I'll also do the pom-pom on the Doxy's party hat and uh, finish up a, another one of the confetti as well. And then I'm going to grab some gel pens. I'm using the white and black Sakura jelly roll pens. 
and I'm going to go over the eyes of each of the dogs with the black. I'm not going to do the balloon because I don't want that to stand out as much as the living creatures on the card. And then I'm going to take the white gel pen and just add a little bit of detail to some of the gift boxes and party hats. I'm doing some stripes on some of them and some polka dots on others. Now this isn't something that comes naturally to me. I don't do it very often, but I always love the look of those white details on other people's cards. So I just thought I would attempt it. Um, and kind of break up some of those solid colors, especially on the gifts, and just make them look a little bit more fun. So once I have all of this done, I'm going to trim them out with the matching dies. I just use some post-it tape to tape the dies into place and then run them through my die cutting machine. And then I'm also going to die cut two clouds from the Lawn Fawn Spring Showers dies. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the larger of the two. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Peacock ink to stamp the Yappy Birthday sentiment that comes in the hot dog stamp set. And I'll just lift that up so you can see how well that's stamped. And then pop my card base in my Misty. And that was created out of MFT's Snow Cone cardstock. I'm stamping the remaining dog from the hot dog stamp set as well as a sentiment that says your top dog today and all of the confetti pieces. For my focal panel I've trimmed down one long piece of the snow cone cardstock and I'm adding a lawn fawn grassy border in noble fur cardstock and that is going to set the scene for my little puppy party. I adhered the grass down with some foam tape and I'll be using a combination of foam tape and liquid glue for all of my images. So if they overlap onto the sky portion, I put some foam tape up on that part of it and then just use liquid glue for anything that is overlapping the grassy border. I'm also adhering the clouds with just liquid glue because I wanted those to be nice and flat and just push them back into the scene. So I started with my poodle image and just adhered that towards the center, a little bit more toward the left. And then I added the little dog with the birthday cake on her left. And then the doxy is going over on the right hand side. I'm just going to pick her up a little bit and adjust those clouds so that they're not perfectly level with each other. I wanted them to be just a little bit different levels in the sky. Uh, not so matchy matchy and then I pulled the one with the sentiment down a bit and then I will grab that balloon image and add it so that it looks like it's uh, being held in the poodle's paw I'm also going to add the little dog bone gift that is wrapped with the pretty red bow I'm just going to overlap the bottom edge of the box that the poodle is inside and then I've got all of my little confetti pieces. So the easiest way to add these, since they're so little uh, and fiddly, is just to add the glue directly to the card and then lay the uh, confetti pieces right over top. And if you wanted, you could use a pick-me-up tool or like a jewel picker or something to help you. But it was pretty easy as long as, you know, I put the glue dot down first and then just added them over top. So I just am trying to spread the color around a little bit and uh, put some pretty pops here and there. Just make it look nice and festive. Um, since these guys are having a good old time here, I just wanted to make it look as fun as possible. And also since there are doubles of each of these confetti images, I just kind of twisted and turned them in different directions so they didn't look exactly the same. The pattern paper I'm using is the Happy Cake Day from Pebbles and I have trimmed out two pieces using the Lawn Fawn Large Stitched Rectangle Stackables. The pink print with the multicolored confetti is the one that I used for all of my color choices today. And then I've got a really cool text print that I'm going to layer over top. I also used the same die on that so that the stitching detail would line up at the top and bottom of the card. 
And then I'm going to take my focal panel and add some liquid glue to the back of that and adhere that across the center of the card, just using that text print to make sure that I have it on there nice and straight. Since this is a party card, I'm going to add a little pop of glitter using my favorite crystal stickles. I added it to the flame on the birthday cake and the pom-poms on both of the party hats and then also to all of the confetti pieces and all of the gift bows. Um, it's a good thing not to put this type of glitter glue over top of the white gel pen. It will make it dissolve. So I'm um, just sticking to the areas that don't have any of that detail on them. Once I finish that up, I will lift the card up to the camera so you can see all of the detail and how that stickles catches the light. I just love that sparkle and shine. I will also give you another peek at the inside. I had so much fun coloring up these images for you guys and creating this scene card. Like I said earlier, scene cards are some of my favorite cards to create and I'm a total dog lover so this was right up my alley. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. You can also ring that notification bell if you want to be sure that my videos always end up in your feed. And if you'd like to keep on watching, here are two extra videos I thought might also interest you, so you can click on either one of those to check them out. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.